In our health alert tonight, scientists have discovered a new strain of HIV or human uh, inefficient uh, and virus. It's the first finding of this kind in nearly 20 years. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with the latest on this discovery. Dr. Nandy. So, David, Heather, HIV is a disease that can lead to AIDS if not treated early and properly. And this new strain is in the same family of viruses that really fueled the HIV outbreak around the world in the 1980s. So it's actually been around the world for a long time, but new technology led to its detection. Now, researchers are constantly looking for new strains of the disease to help prevent outbreaks that could occur if the virus mutates. Plus, the discovery of a variety of strains, guess what, leads to more accurate HIV testing, better treatment, and potential vaccines, which would be great. Now, I do want to stress there's no need to panic over this new finding, and that's for two reasons. Number one, only a small number of folks are infected with this particular strain, and it is not expected to spread. And secondly, it will likely respond to the same treatments that currently exist for HIV. So that's good news. All right, so where do we stand with treatment options then for HIV, Doc? So, Dave, while there's really no cure for HIV, there have been many advances in treating it over the past 30 years. Uh, the therapy usually consists of a combination of drugs that my patients take, and that controls HIV, and that lowers the chances that the virus will become resistant to treatment. As a result, people with HIV are living longer and having active lives, which is great. So how many people are infected with HIV today? So, Heather, the Center of Disease Control and Prevention says nearly 37 million people around the world have HIV. And in the U.S., it's actually believed that 14 percent of folks with HIV don't even know they have it. And that's why it's super important to get screened, especially if you're at higher risk for getting infected because you may not know it. And there's lots of treatment options out there so people shouldn't get scared and get screened right away. All right, good information there, Doc. As always, take care of yourself now, right? I will. I've got that sexy voice going. Oh, you sure do, <laughs> and we love it. All right, Doc, take care. If you have a question or health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to set your DVRs for this week's all-new Dr. Nandy show. He'll be discussing if humanity can survive on another planet and what it would take to make that happen. The show airs overnight Sunday at 1.30 a.m.